So this is the view out of our new home. Uh, this is the garage we're in. There's still paint in the inside. There's some work to be done. The kitchen's got to be put in. So we're kind of homeless for a while. We're staying with my uh, my wife's folks for a while. And we'll go back to Massachusetts. Tara's got some more work, so do I. Hopefully in the next couple of weeks this house will be done and this is where we'll move in. What a pretty animal. Wish I had a better zoom on this. I just bought a paper called the Green Mountain Trading Post. You know, it's uh, it's got all kinds of want ads in it. It's printed, 75 cents, and it's also got a it's got a very pretty woodcut on the front, and uh, a couple of good poems. I'm in the middle of a good story now. I'm surprised at how good it is. I think I might send off a couple of my own. There's thunder and rain coming in. It's been crackling for a while now. stuff I've been thinking about. I've been kind of bored looking through my books and writing things down. You know, so what do you do when you're bored with your books and the game you're playing? I've looked through some more books. Those are boring too. You know, older stuff or newer stuff, whatever. I did buy a new puzzle, which is interesting, and I'm going to review that. Uh, it's got a picture on it with a lot of identical images, but they're chopped up, and you've got a You've got to put these nine tiles together so that all the pictures make sense. I haven't figured it out yet. It's been two weeks. I got it for Father's Day. Oh, who's this coming down the road? You don't often see people come down the road here. <laughs> New Hampshire plates. So yeah, that's it. Product review on that puzzle. Ideas about what to do when you're bored. Oh, and the shape of the world. I had an old magazine. It was like a archaeological journal or something, 1970s and 1980s. Oh, this guy turned around, off he goes. Oh, rainbow. Uh, but it, the, the question in this article was what... Get off the magazine. What? <laughs> What would the world be like if it wasn't shaped in a sphere? You know, they had a donut and triangle and uh, you know, different polygons. And it talked about that. And I always thought, well, what would the world be different? What, what would be different about the world? And with a game world, you can make it any shape you want. And so what happens when you change the base assumptions that people have? Uh, you don't need to tell your players about it. But what difference does that make when they're exploring the world? How do things change? Uh, it's very subtle. But these subtle shifts...
want to explore. the differences there and the notes I have on it and what that's all about. But I wanted to get my notebook out uh, to do that. Alright, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm getting wet. Bye-bye, buddy.